Welcome back everybody to Stereo and Beyond and before we start today I want to thank you all for the 100 subscribers. Um, suddenly um, everything went really fast and in, in like I don't know maybe half an hour I, I gained six seven subs. Welcome everybody new people. Um, yeah I will just just continue to post uh, content I guess. Previously I've watched my video about uh, oversampling that was supposed to come before the video, before that. But uh, yeah, I, I really needed to talk about these speakers, yeah. And um, well, uh, a couple days have passed and I don't know how I do it, but every time I think I've run out of ideas to make content or don't have any new stuff, I pull something out of my, my head. And um, well, today has been the, the, the day I, I did that. But first, uh, the song you just heard is from the album uh, Empty Glass from Peter Townsend. Town Townshend, I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, there you go. Um, what song it was, I've no idea. Probably the second, third song maybe, something like that. It's a good album, you should uh, really take a listen. Yes, uh, I got a new rack here. And I uh, am also getting some new components in very soon. But first I want to show you the grills on these Dynavoice CL28s. These are the speakers uh, that I have for review at the moment, together with that uh, Dynavoice Challenger 15-inch subwoofer. I have begun to uh, write the review, so that's uh, coming along uh, nicely. Uh, this this here is engraved, by the way, in the speaker, so that's that's nice. Uh, well, what else? Uh, 2020 is coming to a close. This will probably be uploaded on the final day of 2020, maybe. So I don't want to keep it uh, too long here, but uh, yes, I got a new cabinet for my turntable and some new equipment. And this this really surprised me, ladies and gentlemen. This is a um, um, well, audio stand, it's called, from Monoprice. Monoprice has been coming along nicely in uh, the EU. Uh, probably all you people in the Americas uh, already know and order from it. But uh, yeah, we have, well, a couple things from Monoprice. Not everything is offered here, but it's coming along nicely. And this is the Monolith uh, audio stand. Uh, the small one was, um, well steadily available but then it went away and and now we have the the thick bar and uh well it's looking nice it's looking nice it is um i don't know around 125 euros and uh well i i am not looking to spend uh six seven hundred euros for a stereo stand um of course you have some stereo stands that are worth that cost because they actually, uh, well, they, they use good parts and good materials that are expensive. But a lot of manufacturers just, just bullshit you with the stuff. And use the same exact construction that is happening here and, and it's way cheaper. And no, this is not cheap China stuff. This is Taiwanese stuff, actually. And, well, if that's something that resembles quality, I don't know. But this thing is solid, my friends. I would not get the 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 more well i don't want to say flimsy but the more thin more basic stat it's cheaper but um, you get um, less thick wooden shelves um, smaller legs and everything and this thing actually i don't know how much the thing alone weighs but it's not, not that, that light, probably something like 25 kilos, I believe. The package was 30 something. But um, yeah, this is the Ebony No Espresso version. And it's really thick, thick uh, MDF, I think. It's not, not the, the cheap plywood, it is sturdy. And these are metal, uh, really sturdy as well. And I don't know how much this can hold. You, you need to look on the side, I will link it down below. But uh, we also have a reinforced uh, shelf. I believe that's this one. This one is reinforced, I think. 
And this one has the, the three pillars. If you can uh, see that. Yeah, there you go. And this one, this right here is meant for um, amplifiers, I believe. But I could be wrong. I, th I think actually this one is the... No, wait, what? which one is the more sturdy one? Yeah, it's this one. The, the bottom one. That one has the extra support beam. It's also the... The... Well... Um, higher one. But I'm not using it for amplifiers. I am going to use it for... Well, my turntable. Now I can finally stand and... Work at my turntable here, which is nice. I'm actually thinking about like... Putting uh, that 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 really like <laughs> El Cheapo IKEA lamp for my record player, but it is something that is really handy, and I want to use that. Uh, then we have uh, well more space for activities, room for activities. Um, this is my temporary CD player that that was always there, but uh, it's a thing I fixed. But it's not. The sound is alright, it's an Onkyo, it's the Onkyo Integra DX6850. Uh, decent CD player, don't get me wrong, but with the stuff I'm playing here, which costs a lot, it uh, doesn't really tick my boxes. It sounds alright, it sounds good. I'm using just analog out, it, it does have a digital optical or coax out, but I don't have the cables. Unfortunately, but yeah, it's an alright player. It's uh, I fixed the thing currently. Pink Floyd is in there. Yeah, that that is a thing that is happening. It's an oldie, but uh, um, I I I it's still a little bit of a work in progress. But the sound is how do I put it? A bit too clinical for me. I like a little bit more of a warmish. Type of sound. It's just not not really doing it for me. So I'm looking at some other CD players, some vintage Denons or Yamahas. I'm actually thinking about getting a Denon 1560 DCD 1560. Is that that's I think that's it. I've looked at a lot of players, so I could mix up things here. But I believe it's a 1560. A really nice player. Expensive. Has a good. Uh, internal deck, uh, mono deck. It has digital out, analog out, remote as well. This one also has that. But uh, yeah, currently on the lower shelves, my shit money is sitting there. My phono preamp, uh, love that thing. And well, I've always let me uh, sit down for a second here. I've always <sighs> this chair is nice. <sighs> if I sound a little bit out of breath. It's because, um, well, all these things here come with boxes. A lot of boxes. And my shed in the backyard and my attic are full. That, that thing, that center channel there, comes in a box the size of a coffin. It's, it's not fun to store those things. And you think, oh, just cut up the box, just, just make it flat. And you think that. But there's uh, packing material inside, and that's not something that you will place something somewhere easily. You know, you need to store the whole box. So I'm, I'm actually like getting rid of old boxes, stuff that I don't resell or, or I kept for warranty and, and all that stuff. I, um, I, I like to keep boxes for, well, uh, selling equipment because I do like buy and resell equipment every now and again. I'm not. Some sort of hi-fi broker dealership. I, I I get a lot of people here in the Netherlands that, that are obsessed with buying and reselling and buying and reselling. But the stuff they actually got, it's not that good, my friends. It's You see a lot of people here in the Netherlands that, that are trading in hi-fi, buying hi-fi. But if you look at the stuff that they actually got, they, they mark up everything. So the whole second-hand market has gone to shit. But the, 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 the stuff that they actually have, it's... It's not that good. It's or, or or they don't spend any time with it or all, all that stuff. And and all the things that they sell are marked up twenty percent of the normal resale value. So other people see that 
because uh, it, the, the, the Dutch, well, the second hand market is one of the biggest, if not the biggest. Maybe Japan is bigger, but I don't, I don't think so because Japan doesn't have like the local stuff that we have here. Here in the Netherlands, everybody trusts each other, and and everybody picks up uh, stuff from each other. It's really strange when you well talk to people from America because they don't they don't like go to other people's houses to pick up second hand items. Not actually meet in a public place because. Well, in America, you can get shot really easily. So that's that's actually a really funny story. A, a American friend told me, uh, but um, yeah, here people come over all the time, buy stuff, and um, yeah, I I only like resell equipment to upgrade to better equipment, or just get um, more equipment in 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 the way of like more possibilities, because. Um, well, I, I, my, my rack here is, is full, as you can see. I have a, a DVD player slash, well, it can play CDs. It can play anything, SECDs, 3D. The only format it can't play is 4K Blu-ray, but that's fine. I don't own any of that uh, physically. I do have a Plex. No Just let me know if you need anything. Why is my Google Home talk? I don't know. I, I, I don't own 4K formats. I have some older DVDs that I don't want to rip, so I just keep it. And um, yeah, I don't. I, I got it cheap. That's why I still got it. Well, my uh, Onkyo M5060 amplifier, then my Nakamichi cassette deck with my preamp, my receiver, my HDPC, and my tuner. And that's that's that. And I used to have my record player there, set the channel. And basically my uh, deck with my tube buffer, but now the tube buffer is gone and uh, I got a new deck so that can sit right over there. Then I uh, place my, my record, at, my record there, you can see it because the, 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 the sun is uh, shining on it. But um, yeah, it, it, it looks really nice when that light is off and I got the mood lighting going. Well, yeah, I had no place for my record uh, player, so I put it over there, but that's, that, that doesn't work. So, um, cables were too short, position was wrong. So, I, I, I also really, even though in this room I'm not going to do it, because, because just, well, I say I am not, but now that I have the space, and, I, and, and I'm saying it right now, in six months, that rack will be full calling it because that thing pushes a lot of watts to all the speakers i'm using every single output it runs in um, 7.1.4 it has 11 amplifiers all of them are used but i really want to get a proper 7 or 5 channel amplifier for my lower speakers because well my center channel is big and it's high quality Normally, my speakers that I use for home theater uh, are really high quality as well, but now these are in place. And still, like, uh, for, for assessing them, I would love to actually get a better amplifier because I, I have two sets of cables running. I can uh, connect two speakers to my Onkyo. So I have another uh, set of speaker cables, my testing cables running behind it, and it's just with banana plugs, so I can switch them out all the time really easily. Same on that side. But I would like to have a better amplifier for 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 those speakers as well, and my side speakers, which are uh, my second most expensive speaker set, but are used for my side speakers. The room is too small for them. Can you believe it? These uh, big chungus speakers are are fine here, and no problem at all. But but those uh, TNAs, Criterion T one hundred sixties, the room is is too. Um, too small it's it's because the the whole design of them it's a transmission line speaker with woofers inside the cabinet and to to let the bass envelop properly you need to be farther away from them because if i put them like right there and i sit all the way back back there then it's fine but i'm not going to play speakers i this room is full i i i, I love it here it's such an intimate place but my god the space but yeah, I would love to get like a, a, a surround amplifier also to, to relieve a little bit of stress from that thing because it doesn't draw much because there are so many speakers in this little room. Most of the time speakers are only using, I have calculated it about maximum 10 watts. 
maximum. That is when I push it really loud and I'm not doing that. So in realistic terms, probably three, five watts maximum. So um, yeah, that, that sounds like, like very little, but uh, trust me, when I play music on these things, um, there, there are four ohms. I don't draw a lot of power from that amplifier, but that, that's a whole different discussion. So, uh, yeah, now I actually have the space. Probably the tuner will uh, move in, 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 in that cabinet there, and I will place my uh, surround amplifier somewhere there. Or, I don't know. But uh, then then another thing, I, I, have, I have more space, because if I use that, I will have another space available, because that CD player is probably going, and then new CD player is coming in, like I said. But that, 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 that other spot, that is... That is interesting. I will probably end up just, I don't know, placing a uh, CD little rack thingy or like a little um, um, pot thing where I can sit my CDs just like uh, that over there and just maybe a little... I, I also wanted a little little cube to put my record cleaning stuff um, in, etc. So it might become just a little bit of a storage uh, shelf. I had this bamboo cutting board that I had uh, underneath my uh, uh, MB quad speakers that were sitting there um, as, as extra isolation, but it doesn't need it. This this whole thing has been isolated between the, the legs with included silicone washers, etc. It, 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 it comes with good isolation out of the box. It has built-in isolation, my, my record player. It's on spikes. It, 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 trust me, it's solid. Because a lot of people said, oh, move the record player. It's a but this thing is isolated, those feet are isolated, the record player is isolated, and the bottom of that speaker is about this thick. So no resonance whatsoever. And I don't play with my subwoofer when I'm listening to music. That's pure for, for home theater. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I hope uh, everyone will have a good 2021. And, uh, well, uh, let's, let's forget this year really fast, even though it was, well, not such, such a bad year for me, but it's, you know, ups and downs, but this, this year had a lot of downs. So, well, hope to see you next time and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.